Hi everyone. Um, I'm making this video because um, I would like to show you a way of operating your ELAD, uh, FTM Duo or other receiver, other ELAD receiver, um, on a Mac using the uh, remote control option. Um, I use a MacBook Pro for just about everything that I do, but I have a Windows computer which um, is not an option because ELAD don't make software that runs on Apple devices and I don't think anyone else does for ELAD receivers so you have to have a Windows computer and so I have this Windows 10 computer which I use to operate my FDM Duo um, with a large screen and I, this computer doesn't get used for anything else at all um, but using the remote control function there is um, uh, an option to, to run the ELAD remotely on a Mac um, and the, I think the first thing to show you is if you go to the settings in the software and then go to um, server you have to have audio streaming server enabled set the port um, the server root directory um, populates itself when you install the software so just to be aware of that um, now the software itself is free you can download it from the elad website it resides in the fdm sw2 software directory and it's usb web server fdm so you download that that then appears um, in your download folder and when you double click it, um, it unzips itself and you end up with this application in the root directory um, and it's usbwebserver.exe. So when you double click that file on your computer, which you have to do before you open the FDMSW2 software, um, you end up with a little panel which shows that it's working, it's, it's operating. Um, you then open the software and your Windows computer that's currently um, controlling your eLAD is then uh, accessible to, uh, to be um, operated remotely. So, and that's basically it. Um, and so if I take my MacBook, you, you have to use a web browser. Now, they, I think they suggest that you can only use Firefox for this, but um, it does actually work on Chrome. Um, uh, the web address is basically the IP address of the, uh, of the Windows computer, which in my case is 192.168.1.81. And then colon 8080 allows you then to stream audio and the graphics. Um, and so if I just refresh this page, hopefully Radio Romania should appear, and we have audio. And so there you have. Now it's not very stable because after a while, the, often the graphics kind of crashes and you have to refresh the page. The audio streaming usually continues, so from that point of view, it does work. Um, I'll just turn the volume down again. And obviously, it's kind of simplified, but it is actually almost fully functional. So you have buttons to access various broadcast bands. Um, you can up, move the frequency up and down using the two buttons there. The audio bandwidth you can toggle up and down. Um, and then the step up and step down, all that does, it actually adjusts the frequency steps that you use when you're actually adjusting the frequency. Um, you can also enter the frequency directly by just keying in the numbers into that box there. And as far as the re reception modes are concerned, there's, you've got the full complement of reception modes. Um, and you have a spectrum, which is replicated, obviously, uh, from the Windows computer. What you don't have is spectrum. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. Maybe you know it's a, just a general you know bandwidth, uh, internet bandwidth problem. I don't know. But um, here, but, but basically, what it means is, is that you know. So here's my MacBook Pro, which I can basically you know take anywhere in in the house um, and operate my Elad FDM Duo. You know, with you know with with a with a MacBook Pro. Um, so there you go, so the uh, graphics have decided that they don't want to run anymore, so if you hit refresh, the whole thing will start again. Um, and it stopped again already, so I'm not quite sure what the issue is with that. It, and the, amount, the, the length of time that the thing actually runs before the graphics crash, you know, is uh, there's no pattern to it. Um, but it does mean that you can, yeah, operate your ELAD, you know, wherever you like. Um, you can use screen recording software on a Mac and so you know you can effectively DX and then capture a video if you wanted to do that uh, capture the audio um, and as I said it's you know it's a fairly sort of simple layout but it is 
almost fully functioning. Um, you know, there's no noise reduction uh, or uh, auto notch attenuator or noise blanker that kind of thing. But um, you know, you've got you can set the frequency, you can adjust the audio bandwidth, um, you can adjust the reception mode. Um, you know, so for kind of like general use, um, you know, I think it's pretty good. Um, it, obviously, a better solution would be for Elad or somebody to develop some sort of good software for the Mac, Apple products that you know gives you effectively, a, you know, a, replicates what you can get with Windows. Um, but until then, you know, if you must use your Elad with a Mac. Um, and you're not bothered about the spectrum disappearing. Um, you know, there's you have, you know, there's an option here to do it. So, um, and I wasn't sure how aware people are of this. So, um, you know, I thought I would just do this video and uh, just let everybody know um, that there is an option. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.